I want to do a quick video to show you how you can change the home screen settings for Android Auto. I tried to do that for a couple of days, but then I had to research online and I finally found it out. But I thought a video would be easier because it was a description there as to how to do it. It's a small video and I uh, hope you guys will like it. As you can see, um, the vehicle I'm in actually has Android Auto now. And um, just go ahead and connect the cable to Android to the car now. And I'll show you my home screen at this point of time. So this is my home screen on Android Auto. So what I'm going to show you today is how we're going to go and change the applications on the home screen. Yeah. As you can see, I do have a couple of applications that I've already added. And um, I'll show you how to change this, add, take away, and even uh, change the location of where these applications are. The one, the top row here are the most frequently used ones, the ones that you use frequently. So anything that you use, you keep using, they will pop up here. But it's the other applications down here that you'd like to add or change or have there. And mind you that the application has to be compatible with Android Auto. You can't put any application that's on your phone onto the screen. And therefore, um, I'll also share a link and I'll show you on the on the website where you can pick the Android Auto apps. That's all the applications that are compatible with Android Auto as well. And also mind you that um, some of the applications might not be available in some countries. Plus uh, some of them might just not work in some countries. So pick the ones that you need and uh, hopefully helps you when you drive or you use Android Auto. Cool. So I'm going to switch this off now. I'm going to switch off to the, move on to the phone and everything else is done on the phone screen. What I've found was that when the phone is connected to the car and Android Auto is on the screen, you actually can't change the settings for Android Auto using the Android Auto app in your phone. You have to disconnect it and use the phone screen for that. Yeah, cool. So I'm switching for that now. Okay, I'm on the home screen now. To get to Android Auto app, go in there. But before you open, make sure you're disconnected from the car. Um, at least for me, the app would not open when I connect to the car and I try to open the app. Okay, this is Android Auto. Now this is my home screen. In order for us to customize the application layout, we need to go to settings. And um, it's this one here, the customized launch one. Go in there. Once you've gone in there, you can see all the apps that your phone has and the ones that have been linked to the main home screen. The ones that are linked to the main home screen start from the launches hot thing. There's a custom order here. All right. You can do it from A to Z. Or you can just do it as a custom order the way you like. Make sure it's in custom order. With that way, you can order it in your preference, in the preference that you like your apps to be. Now, each app, like these ones, these are all apps, and each of them actually have two sets. There is, as you can see on the app, there is a can see on the left hand side there are six dots on the left hand side uh, you use those six dots to actually move the app to the location you require and on the right hand side you see a blue tick that blue tick decides whether that application is displayed on the main screen on on the launch screen or not so if you want to take applications away just click on the blue tick there and you will see that they drop down below the line which says hidden apps now hidden apps will not show on the main screen if you want to add applications on the main screen just going to select the ones you want and they'll start moving back in okay just do a couple not all of them all right now that we've got the applications selected the ones that we require there we go just uh Touch on the six dots that we have on the right left hand side and start moving them. There you go. So hold it. 
and drag it up here to the location you require it to be. Hold on the six dots and just drag it. That's it. That's how you organize it. The top ones will be always at the top. You can, if you want to move it further down, if you want to move the maps up, you can have the maps up there. If you want to have Spotify or something else up there, you can move them up here and whichever ones you want to move up. Again, your preference. One other thing I want to show you is you can actually do an option here. VA is add a shortcut to the launcher. This is the one up here. Right? You have two things you can add as shortcuts. You can add a person you'd like to call or you call frequently to the home screen as a shortcut so that um, that contact is visible on your home screen as you drive through. Uh, that's a good one because um, it stops to have you either speak to Google and ask it to call or have to go and search your phone book to find the contact. That contact comes straight up on the home screen as a contact there. That's it. Once you've done all of this, what you can do is you can, there's no saving here. All you have to do is just go back and exit the application and connect to the car and you should be good to go. There was also one other trick I found out uh, by searching online. It was this one. You see the version number down here? It opens up. But if you tap the version number 10 times or more, um, you get a, a, a hidden menu open up and this is the developer settings menu. So this is the developer menu. There are some options that you can play around with on this developer menu. One that I like to use is the video resolution one here. Usually this option comes up as allow car and phone to negotiate. Um, but I have gone up and said allow up to 1080p if the car supports it. So I don't know what the resolution of my car screen is, but if it does go up to 1080p, I would prefer it to be using the 1080p rather than lower resolution. So I set it at that level. But there are a couple of other settings as well. Have a look and play through it. Once you've done that, just exit. Yep, back to the main menu now. And to exit, just hit the round button below here. And exit that. That's it. Connecting back to the car now to see how we go. Okay, so my phone's connected back in again. And this is the main menu. As you can see, the ones that we selected the applications we selected are here and it's also based on the order that we needed them cool um, if you actually added a contact um, on the shortcut menu i showed you um, the contact would come here appear here as an icon so it's just a one touch to that icon and you can dial or call that person which is easy as well and that's it. That's how you change the menu of or the launchpad icon order or add or remove icons from your launchpad in Android Auto. Um, so if you've enjoyed this one or you've learned something from it, please hit the like button and also subscribe because I'll be creating a couple of other videos along the way as well. All right. Thank you very much.